Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, for our announcement today, just wanted to remind you all of the new virtual live class schedule that we have rolled out for this week. So starting tomorrow, we have our first class at 9.30, getting a little bit earlier for you. So if you like to get your workout done beginning of the day and just have it finished, we're coming at you at 9.30. Wednesday, we're going back to the 4.30 like we did last week, and then Friday, rolling out at 11.45. Again, keep the feedback coming. We're changing the schedule because of what we're hearing from you guys. So if you want something different than this, or you're really happy with this, let us know either way, and that makes us makes our job easier, and make sure that you guys are getting what you want from the virtual live classes. Um, reminder also that our My Body, the My Body streaming is now, um, good to go on their end. So we are going to be rolling that out as soon as we can and we'll let you know all the details of how to do that. But we're hoping it's a really simple process for rolling out the virtual classes when we're doing it all through MindBody. And uh, please check out the blog and the Instagram is a post going up about our Laurier Express class. It's only 30 minutes. So if you're ever crunched for time, this could be um, a great way for you to make sure that you still squeeze in a live class that day. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Chris for the what? Okay, so. For the workout today, guys, we have a two-rounder. Uh, we are doing two minutes of inverted burpees, then you're gonna do two minutes of Russian swings, then you're gonna go for two minutes of overhead lunges. You're gonna repeat those same movements, but this time you're only gonna do one minute of each. Once you're done that, that's one round, you get one minute of rest, and then you do the same thing over again. Now, on the two minute pace here, guys, we want you guys to think somewhere around that 70%-ish, 75% pace. Then when you do the minute, you should be upping that pace. So you should be doing a faster pace on that minute than you did in the two minutes. So for example, let's say you did 20 inverted burpees in two minutes. You should do more than 10 burpees, so more than half of that, because you're going at a faster pace on that minute. So um, the rest in between rounds, guys, it's more of a mental rest than it is physical. You shouldn't be fully recovered before you start that second round. You should still be feeling the effects of that first round, and that's totally fine. It's a little bit of a mental break. It does give you a chance to catch your breath a little bit. Um, for the movements here, guys, we're gonna go over inverted burpees in the demo video. Russian twist, pick something that's we want you to do them weighted, but don't go too heavy. So if you can only do like between five to 10 reps at a time, you've gone a little bit too heavy. Shoot for somewhere between, call it 15 to 25 reps, take a little break and, and go from there. The other movements, you don't really want to be taking too much of a break on. You just want to go at a steady pace with them. Finally guys, the overhead lunges, um, make sure you are prioritizing your positions for the overhead lunges. It's a very easy movement to uh, kind of get lazy on. You start bending the elbow, you start overarching the back. We don't want to be doing reps in a poor position. That's going to make you better at being in a poor position, which is what we never want to do, of course. So pick something light if you struggle in your overhead position. If you have a really strong overhead position, you feel comfortable, then you can go with something a little bit heavier on that. Other than that, guys, we'll give you some more tips in the demo for the workout today. I'll pass it back to Jess for the after break. Okay, guys, nice stretching for you today. Um, if you did yesterday's burner, you are probably feeling tight in the shoulders and the chest and the back. So we're gonna start with 90 seconds uh, pec stretch for the left side and for the right side. So you can find a doorway or uh, somewhere that you can stretch that out. And then 90 second lat stretch. Um, again, finding a post or something that you need, make sure that you can really get into that stretch. Feel a nice stretch for 90 seconds on both sides. Okay, we will see you soon for the demo. Okay guys, for the warm up today, we're doing a three rounder, starting off with 10 hollow rocks. So get that core fired up. We're gonna lie onto our backs. To get set up, just roll the shoulders off the ground, lift the heels off the ground. Jess already is in a great position. The only thing that should be touching the ground here is your top of your butt, low back area. And then we're just gonna try to rock back and forth with control. If you have a really hard time with that rock here, guys, you can actually hold on to the knees so you can kind of curl or behind the legs and you can just try rocking from that position. And then to make that a little more challenging, you can also straighten out the legs. So you are pretty much in that hollow rock position, except you're holding on for extra tension in that core to assist you. Uh, after you're done 10 of those, we're gonna go for five bootstraps. So it's only five, so you really wanna just spend a second or two at the bottom and top here. Feet about in the squat position. 
you're gonna get your legs nice and straight, feel a stretch in those hamstrings. If you have good mobility like Jess does, you can actually pull yourself down when you're at the top to add a little bit more of a stretch. And then you're gonna bring your hips down into that squat, back and chest really tall if you can. Try to push the knees out with the elbows. You can rock back and forth a little bit. It's only five, so it's a really good move to just feel the hips, how they're feeling, how the back's feeling, all that stuff. After that, we're doing 20 seconds at the top of a push-up, dive bomber, or handstand hold. So starting with the push-up, we're just a uh, standard push-up here, guys. Rib cages down, uh, arms are locked out, butt's nice and tight. We're nice and tension throughout that whole trunk and core. If you want to progress, you're going to get the back feet a little bit wider apart, and you're just going to walk the hands in towards the feet. You're going to try to press out and lock out those shoulders and back, head slightly through that window. Notice how Jess is making a nice straight line here with her upper back. She's trying to stack the shoulders and the wrists. We're just going to hold that for 20 seconds. If you guys can load up into a wall by stepping into it, which Jess is going to demonstrate, you can already do that. Uh, one failed attempt, okay, the pressure was on, she nailed that second one. Uh, if you can do that guys, we're going to hold that position, keeping again that lots of tension, that ribcage stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips, keeping your butt nice and tight for 20 seconds. So pick whatever progression you uh, can do to stack those shoulders properly. After that, we're going to get down into a kneeled position, so we're going into a lunge position, and we're going to do some wood choppers. So the first round, you might want to go a little bit slower here, get your balance and work on that trunk rotation. Notice how Jess is going over the shoulder and then beyond the hip, her eyes are leading the dumbbell in this case, you can use any object, to get more range of motion and twist through the trunk. So keep that in mind here. Um, we're going to do five one way, then you're going to switch the other leg and notice how she's going across over the extended leg and behind the leg that's behind her. So after you're done five per side of those, we're gonna get into one of the workouts in the movement today, which is the overhead lunge. So after you're done the three rounds of the warm up, you're gonna do then three rounds of eight alternating overhead lunges. Two options here, guys. You can do one-handed or two-handed overhead lunges. If you struggle in the overhead position, just do one arm at a time. Do four on one side and then four on the other side and maybe Jess can show us the side view here. Notice how she's nice and stacked from the hand to the shoulder down to the hip. So you're trying to keep that core nice and engaged. It's really easy to bend the elbow here, guys. Just remind yourself to lock out. Jess had a really good position already, but when I said that, there was just a little bit more she could get out of that lockout, which is an awesome correction. If you have the mobility to do both, arms holding an object overhead, you can totally go for that. If you have a barbell, you can use a barbell for this one too. Maybe get the hands just a little bit wider apart or into your overhead squat grip. Most important there, guys, stay on that front heel when you're doing that lunge. Sometimes we go onto the toes. We don't want to do that in the lunge. Take your time on them. Get warmed up right. We'll see you for the workout. All right, we're here, guys, to go over the workout, our movement standards for the workout. Uh, we're going to start off with those inverted burpees. So we've done them once in the class workout, but we're going to go over a demo on it now again uh, to show you uh, some scaling options that you guys can do. So for RX, um, you guys can do it off the floor, but I'm going to get Jess to do it off of a platform to make it a little bit more easier on her stand up. So the movement starts off in the bottom of the hollow position. So she's going to be at the bottom of her hollow. She's going to rock herself up to the top of the squat for start off. Once she's at the top of her squat, she's gonna lay her, uh, load herself up to the top of a handstand, hold it for one second, come back down, and then sit back down to the bottom of that squat, get into the next hollow rock to start the next rep. So uh, you guys can use mats to make this a little bit easier when you're standing up out of the hollow rock. If you're comfortable, you can do it straight off the floor. Uh, that's another option. Um, if you can't load yourself up to the full handstand, we can also go into the dive bomber hold. So we're going to suggest you guys do the same style of rock come up, but this time to the top of the dive bomber and hold it for three seconds here. Once you've done that three seconds, again, go back to the top of the, sit or the stand and then rock back up to the next rep. If you can't do a dive bomber, you can also do a top of the push-up hold. So we'll go through a quick demo of that as well. She'll rock back come up, get herself set up, top of the push-up, raise the second hold there, 
and then stand back up. Those are some options you guys can use for today. The hardest part mostly would be that rock. So if you'd like, um, if you're not comfortable getting your hands overhead or your legs nice and straight, you can hold on to your knees. It'll help you a little bit to rock back up from the top of the squat. So use that today for your inverted burpees and really trying to work on that body coordination today with that movement. So, Inverted burpees for two minutes there, then we're gonna go into those Russian twists. So for the Russian twists guys, again, use a weight here that will challenge you, uh, but you can stay uh, pretty consistent with. Again, with those Russian twists, we're gonna keep those uh, legs off the ground, so the feet off the ground, um, object bent, and she's gonna try to twist that trunk towards the direction that she's taking that object toward. And if you can, try to touch that object down to the ground to give you a good standard of each rep on both sides. So, um, two minutes of that Russian twist, then you're gonna follow that up with two minutes of the overhead lunges. Then go back to those one minute, one minute, one minute, and finish off with a one minute rest. We do two rounds of that. Um, hope you guys enjoy that workout, and we'll see you guys for the afterburn. All right guys, welcome to the afterburn. Hope you had a good workout. We're gonna start with that pec stretch. So we are doing 90 seconds per side, First one we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna get you planting your hand onto that wall. So I'm actually pushing my palm into the wall and then locking my elbow out. And then I'm just gonna turn my feet in the opposite direction. So I'm just trying to walk my feet away more and more, upper body comes with it. Now you can play with your position here on the wall a little bit higher, you might feel a little bit more in the pec. Remember, you might be tempted to bend your elbow, try to avoid that. 90 seconds per side on that, then we're gonna get into a lat stretch. So for the lat stretch here, guys, if you have a tennis ball, a cross ball, any type of uh, ball will work here. I want you guys to think about working that lat right where the, kind of on the outside of that armpit, back right underneath the shoulder. And you're just gonna put that lacrosse ball into that area of the lat, and you're gonna lean up against that wall. You can go, Try to play around with this position where you're leaning more into it. You can twist a little bit more onto the back of that lat, or you can go a little bit down the lat, and also add movement. So I find whenever I find a spot that's a little bit knotted, I add a rotation in that arm and shoulder, maybe do a press back and forth, and you're just gonna fish around for areas that feel a little bit uncomfortable. We're gonna get uncomfortable here. Uh, you can also try this one on the ground. I prefer the ground actually more than the wall. So try both, see what one feels a little bit better. And remember when you find that spot that kind of seems to take your breath away a little bit, remember to breathe through it. Thanks guys and we'll see you tomorrow.